A United Nations Food Intervention Agency, World Food Program, WFP, has renewed its commitment with the National Emergency Management Agency to offer food security inventions, training, and to assist vulnerable Nigerians that were affected by man-made disaster in Cameroon. Leader of the delegation and country director, uh, WFP Nigeria, David Stevenson, accompanied by his counterparts from Cameroon, Wanjan Karia, pointed that the agency is targeting the vulnerable to save lives. Director General Nema Mustafa Ahmed noted that the WFP is also part of a tripartite meetings held in Marwa in far north eastern region of Nigeria from 2017 to 2022 to assist Nigerian refugees from northeastern states that were camped in Minawa IDP camps. According to him, the WFP partnership has contributed meaningfully in the feeding of the IDPs and other valuable assistance. Since last year, WFP Nigeria have been training some NEMA and Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs staff on shock response, including cash policy transfers during emergencies. And the House of Representatives has expressed readiness to investigate an alleged 14 years electricity blackout in some Ondo communities. This followed the adoption of a motion by Honorable Odimayo Okujimi John during Wednesday's plenary titled Need to Investigate the Electricity Blackout in Irele Okitipupa, Esheodo, and Ilaje, local government areas of Ondo State. Presenting the motion, the lawmaker observed that since 2014, most communities in the mentioned local government areas have been thrown into darkness by the Benin Electricity Distribution Company. According to him, life in these local government areas is economic, economically and socially dead as all major industries situated in the areas have either relocated to other areas that are conducive to their operations. He stated, he stated that this has led to a massive loss of jobs for the locals as it has ad adversely affected foreign exchange earnings by the Okitipupa Oil Mill, which is a major producer and exporter of palm oil and its allied products in the area. The Ando State University of Science and Technology, which is a major hub for most of the private businesses around the town, is also caught in this web of protracted darkness as it is costing the institution so much of her scarce resources to provide power for its operations. The House therefore resolved to mandate the Committee on Power when constituted to invite General Manager and Chief Executive Officer of the BEDC to explain the reason for the electricity blackout in the communities. It also resolved to invite Transmission Company of Nigeria to explain why the communities uh, were disconnected from the national grid and, di and direct that they be reconnected back. Also, the House of Representatives on Wednesday resolved to set up an ad hoc committee to investigate the alleged fictitious contract awards, gross mismanagement of billions of naira, and lopsided placement of directors by the Marit uh, Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency. The resolution followed the adoption of a motion moved by Honorable O.K. Chinda, Honorable Victor Obuzo, Honorable Cyril Hart, Honorable Manu Soro, and Honorable Manuchim Owuzurike during plenary on Wednesday. Chinda, while moving the motion, alleged that there, had, uh, there have been several allegations of questionable, inflated, and fictitious contract awards, particularly for non-operational speedboats, security surveillance contracts, and deep blue water contracts, revenue leakages, and the award of contracts to cronies of the director general and other top management staff of the agency. He also raised concern about the alleged under-remittance of debt owed to the country by shipping firms with the consent and connivance of the agency. 
And moving to Ibadan, where worried by increasing complexities and recurring security challenges across the country, the Oyo State Command of the Southwest Nigeria Security Network, codenamed Operation Amotekon, has organized a three-day workshop for its officers in Ibadan. The leadership of the command say the initiative is born out of the need to enhance the capabilities and skills of its men in effective conflict analysis and improved community engagement. Our correspondent has more details and now reports. For us to be successful in what we do, we need to engage the community. We need the support of the community. And of course, you standing before me, you are part of the community. So we need the cooperation of every one of you. For us to be able to enjoy the cooperation and then relate to you properly, we need to develop the skill in our men on how to engage the community. Because if you, engage, if you don't engage properly, you are not likely to get the, uh, the, the desired result. People are not the same. And people are coming from different background. There is the likelihood that um, we quickly um, ascribe a situation of crime to a group or a set of people and we can easily stereotype people and that, that itself is another form of um, conflict. It can lead to even escalation beyond them. Even the initial situation they attempted them um, to intervene in. Crime is becoming dynamics. We are only tackling the ones that is unraveled. The criminals are ahead planning for new ones. But in order to equip our operatives we are bringing in them to come and learn new tricks on how to think ahead, how to plan ahead, to tackle the criminality we are experiencing. And in a similar development to guide against these increasing complexities and worrisome challenges in Oyo State, uh, the command of the Western Nigeria Security Network, codenamed Operation Amotekun, has organized this workshop for its officers to enable them understand the root causes of conflict and equip them with the strategic skills to avert a further breakdown of law and order. Uh, this workshop provides a unique platform for knowledge exchange, interactive learning and practical skills, uh, skills building. In his address, special guest of honor and on pair two of Ijeru called for more shared commitment in ensuring safety of lives and properties. And organizers of these workshops say the training program would broaden the horizon of its men and also forge a culture of peace and inclusivity and social cohesion within communities. The Western Nigeria Security Network uh, is a brainchild of the six governors of the region of their expectations is for the security platform to navigate complex conflict situations and restore lasting peace to the region. And the Acting Comptroller General of Customs, Bashir Adewale Adeniyi, has asked for security support on border areas in Nigeria. He made a call during a courtesy visit to the National Security Advisor, Malam Nuhu Ribadu, at his office in Abuja. Adeni Yi, in a statement by his customs, National Public Relations Officer, CSE Mewada Aliyu, said the maiden visit is part of the collaborative strategies of the AGCGC to address some of the challenges associated with the mining of Nigeria's vast land borders. It will be recalled that President Tinubu uh, has, on 19th June, appointed Bashir Adewale Adeni Yi MFR as Acting Controller General of Customs alongside National Security Advisor Malam Nuhu Ribadu, the Service Chiefs and Inspector General of Police.